Hey, it's Steve. Today is day 17 of my 30 days of video series and water fasting. And since this is day 17, that ties the record for uh, the, the longest fast that I've done so far, which was last year. So if I make it past today and a bit of the way into tomorrow, I've broken my record. So I'm pretty happy about that. At this point, that seems pretty easy to do. And uh, I'm not having any serious difficulties, so I anticipate so far that I think I can make it the whole 30 days without food. Um, it's going really well so far, so energy is good today. As you can see, I'm out for a walk again on this beautiful spring day in Las Vegas. I love the weather this time of year. The, the weather in Las Vegas during the spring and the fall is just so gorgeous and beautiful. Um, and uh, you know, there's not much more to share about the fast, so I won't go on and on about that. Uh, it's still going well. So today's topic is going to be a simpler one. Um, I want to do a shorter video today to balance out the 51 minute one I did yesterday. Uh, the topic I want to talk about today is, is your relationship with the universe or your relationship with this reality. Now, you know, what, it, what is our understanding of reality? It's like, yes, there's the external reality out there perhaps, but mostly our relationship with it exists entirely in our minds. So we have this, you know, this thought, this thinking about reality and what it's like and how it works and all that, and it exists totally in our minds. And so we have some control over how that relationship develops and evolves, what we make of it, what we turn it into. We can make it a heaven or a hell, essentially. And you know, we don't really know how reality works. Our human minds just try to grasp it and comprehend it, but we're always guessing at it. And so we can assume that reality is just this neutral thing and it doesn't you know, care about us at all and it doesn't, it's not interested in us at all. Or we can make it into a really positive relationship or we can also turn it into a really negative one. So there's lots of ways to go there with this. And uh, you know, there's, there's not a right or wrong answer per se because you're never really going to get at the full um, truth here. Good morning. So it's largely up to you to decide um, how you want that relationship to be and how you want it to develop. Because reality is going to give you all kinds of experiences. You know, you're going to live your life. You'll have some experiences and you can interpret them as positive and negative, or you can interpret them as neutral, like completely indifferent, uncaring. And however you frame that relationship in your mind is going to largely determine your your experiences, your experiences that you're willing to take on and what you learn from them and how your life develops and evolves. And if you make, if you make certain choices here, it really controls the whole flavor of your life. For instance, there was a time in my life where I just thought reality was completely neutral. And I, I always found like everything was up to me. Like I had to power all of my goals and actions with my own energy. It wasn't like something I could um, expect much help from the universe. Like synchronicities didn't really show up. I wasn't getting lucky or fortunate. It was just all my own effort, my own work to move things forward. It's like I have to push, push, push. And that was a difficult period. And another time in my life, it was even worse, where I felt like reality was actively against me. Like I was fighting it as if I was dealing with an angry God who was always against me. And I had a lot of resentment, I think, towards certain things in life. And um, it was like just reality was a bit of a struggle during those times. And then I decided, you know, this relationship with reality, I got to work on this. And I thought, you know, I thought deeply about it and I realized I really have a choice as to how I relate to my experience of life. I don't quite understand this place. Like, what is it? Where are we? You know, what is the nature of this universe? That I'm constantly trying to figure out and learn more about. But I did realize that at least I can control how I frame it to myself, what I put in my mind. And I thought, you know, if I frame reality as a negative situation, then I'm just programming myself to constantly see more and more of that negativity. And if I see it as neutral, I'm still programming myself to, to see more and more of that. And I realized that could be giving me a bit of opportunity blindness. Like there could be golden, wonderful things all around me, and I wouldn't notice them because I'm programming my thoughts not to see them. And as I explored, uh, especially got into exploring subjective reality and began playing with, around with that model and inviting the universe to show me things I wasn't seeing and weird stuff started showing up, strange synchronicities and like money just showing up out of nowhere. 
I began wondering, <laughs> like maybe I have more control over this than I ever thought I did. And so I began playing around with just like, let's, let's explore, you know, let's just have some doubt and explore. Uh, you, you don't necessarily have certainty about these things, but just explore from a place of wonder and curiosity. What would happen if you just always gave reality the benefit of the doubt? If you assumed reality was your absolute best friend, like this universe is designed for your benefit, for your ultimate good, to help you evolve and grow as a conscious being. It is here to teach you the lessons you need to do. And, you know, it's it may give you harsh lessons that are really difficult to learn, but you can look back on them and appreciate them if you come into it with the right mindset. And so um, I found that attitude just absolutely wondrous, and I've had that attitude for years. And so when setbacks happen, you know, having to go through a bankruptcy, a divorce, uh, te uh, technical frustrations <laughs> where things are breaking and I'm like, oh, I gotta fix this now. Um, whatever it is, you know, like the death of a friend that I really liked, um, and that's happened a few times. I always just look at reality and I say, what is the message here? Like, if I absolutely assume and believe deeply that reality is 100% on my side, it's trying to teach me something, I always find lessons in it. Um, you know, as an example, recently when I was working on trying to get Conscious Growth Club launched, originally I was set to go and open up registrations on April 4th. And I was driving to Phoenix that day for a conference, and I was going to open it when I got to the hotel room in Phoenix and start sending out invitations. Well, I find out one of the main plugins I was using for the e-commerce um, auto-installed an update while I was away, and it broke, like, the whole ordering system. It was a terrible update, like, just bug-ridden, and uh, it's like everything was broken, and that, that was just, like, oh, frustrating. And I worked like seven hours that evening in the hotel room before the conference started trying to get things working and I just couldn't get it to get fixed even with emails back and forth with support. And so I just said, ah, you know, screw it for now, I gotta go to the conference. And then afterwards I began thinking, you know, thinking about it. Um, sometime, sometime during the conference I was realizing this is just like the wrong plugin for me and I switched to a different uh, membership site plugin and that went much better. But still with that one I, I ran into uh, some frustrations and it, and it was just like one technical issue after another. And I got them all resolved eventually and got it launched. But during the process, I was going to the universe like, why are you, it seems like you're blocking me. It's like, there's so many people who are eager to sign up for this you know, club, or their early access group wants to get in. People are emailing me, when are you gonna get this set up? And I'm just like, I'm working long hours trying to get this thing done and it's not converging. <laughs> and uh, you know, I know it's eventually going to work. I'll eventually figure it out, but it's, you know, it's like week after week of that, um, you know, there can be this buildup of frustration. And so I pause and I ask, you know, like the universe, like, why are you doing this to me? Like, what's, what's the point? Like, everybody's good to go, I'm good to go, I'm gonna persist through this no matter what. Like, this can't be a persistence thing because no matter what delays or obstacles you throw in my way, I'm just gonna knock them down one by one. I know I'm not giving up, there's too much momentum. So it's not about that, it's not about self-discipline, what is it? Then I sort of listened to myself and I realized, ah, it's that lesson that I always hate, patience. <laughs> it's the, you know, the universe trying to, <laughs> trying to teach me to be more patient. That's one of my, um, has been one of my bigger challenges for the past few years is like having all this energy and all this drive and all this momentum. I want to get going forward and making everything happen now, now, now. And the universe is like, slow down, not yet. Take your time, no rush. And that's a part of me, like my character, I definitely need to work on, that I need to balance out. Because uh, I can easily unbalance my life by going just like rush, 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 and trying to do things too quickly. Um, and, you know, with a long-term project like this, it, it really is true that it's a marathon, not a sprint. And I tend to do it in like sprints that become sprinting marathons sometimes, where, you know, working too many weeks in a row without many breaks. And so I, I take this as a message from the universe, take more breaks, slow down, and as I began thinking about it, you know, along the way, I was thinking maybe I should take a day off. And then I, I, uh, I saw some weird synchronicity about it, about it. Like there was this song or something called "Take a Day Off" <laughs> that came up, that came up that same day. And I thought, huh, okay, there's the acknowledgement. And so I took a day off. Uh, actually, I think I take a couple days off. Took a weekend off from working on it. Came back to it fresh. And then it was like. Yeah, it was really nice to like just take some time off and have that balance and perspective there. Um, and you know, I've I've seen so many people go through 
traumatic experiences and generally the way they recover is they have to reframe the experience they have to change the story that they're telling themselves instead of making it a tragedy they make it into a lesson like a really powerful lesson or they may turn it into an invitation to be a teacher to other people like if I had to go through this rough experience then hey I can be a source of inspiration and help and assistance and encouragement for other people who are going through that kind of thing now too so you know there's there are so many amazing wonders that happen with that reframe of, of um, you know, always, always giving the universe the benefit of the doubt, always assuming it's on your side 100%, even when it seems like it's beating you down and being difficult. You can always find a lesson in it if you look for it. You can always find the seed of a new growth experience. And I find that the most positive people I know, they have a very similar attitude, if not an identical one towards life. They just always give reality the benefit of the doubt. A failure experience, a setback, it's just a lesson. It's another growth experience. It's an invitation to grow. And eventually you can reach the point where you're not so concerned about having success experiences all the time, where even the failure experiences, even the setbacks, you can welcome them and appreciate them. Maybe at least as much as the success or at least, you know, close to that. Um, you know, when, when we have successes, we celebrate, but when we have failure experiences or setbacks, we tend to learn a lot more than we do with successes. Success isn't necessarily the best teacher. Uh, so I, I do think, you know, the, success, the successes and failures are both an important part of life. And, you know, I'll wrap this up real quick, but you know, the basic lesson here is that you can wield control over your relationship in the universe with the universe by, by deciding how you're going to frame that relationship in your thoughts. Uh, it's, it's up to you because the universe will respond, you know, in kind, at least it will seem to, to the type of attitude you put out because, and that will change your responses. So the more you have a positive attitude, instead of blaming the universe, which can't possibly do you any good whatsoever, uh, or blaming yourself, even worse, if, if you have the attitude that the universe is always on your side, that everything is a lesson, um, everything is a growth experience, you can't really lose. You know, you're always, you're always feeling like the universe has your back, it's, it's got your greatest good in mind, and with that, you're going to see opportunities that you were completely blind to before. You're going to see invitations to have amazing experiences and joy and wonder. You'll be more courageous because you'll feel like, hey, the universe has my back. And in some amazing ways, that stuff just really shows up. It's, it's almost ridiculous. I mean, I've, I've given myself interesting challenges just to play around with this. When I was feeling like, hey, the universe is really on my side right now. Let's play with this and see where it goes. And, you know, doing things like traveling through Europe for four or five weeks at a time without ever playing, paying for a place to stay. Just going from invitation to invitation, following inspiration. And the more I'm in this mode, and I find it especially easy to get to it when I'm in traveling mode, um, especially away from my desk, the more I'm in this mode, the more synchronicities seem to happen. The more it's like I get acknowledgement from the universe that like, yes, we do have a great relationship. We're best friends. I'm here to help you. Um, I want you to enjoy your life. I want you to learn to create, you know, and express yourself creatively, to have positive relationships with other people, to contribute, you know, to, to just create an amazing life overall and to encourage other people to do the same. And that just, you know, it's just such a wonderful mindset to carry. And it's, it's like no matter what happens, you know, failure, success, it's, it's all good. It's all lessons, it's all growth experiences. And I feel like, you know, with that kind of attitude, it's almost like my relationship with the universe is one of training. Like it's training me to become a smarter and more intelligent, conscious being. Um, happier, more honest, more, um, more loving, more caring, more connected, uh, more powerful. Uh, you know, being able to grow and take on more lessons faster, taking on bigger challenges. It's sculpting my character as I, as I go through this life. But that character sculpting was minimal when I didn't have this kind of relationship. You know, it's really, it's really important to, to bring that relationship up, to raise your standards for how you're going to relate to this reality, this universe. So, you know, think about that for a bit and and play around with this mindset 
and see what it does for you. I think you'll be pretty impressed and amazed by the results. I'll see you tomorrow.